Well, good morning. Um, the more eagle-eyed viewer will have noticed that this isn't my wagon. This is a house. This is actually my house, in fact. Um, we're just a little before five. I'm about to sit off up towards Penrith, up to the yard. And someone's asked me to show in a little more detail what, what I take up, um, how it is to live in a wagon, just the general day-to-day -day stuff. So I think we're going to delve a bit deeper into my life today, which now that I've said that out loud, that sounds hideous, but apparently that's what we're doing. So here we go. Well, this is some of the stuff I take. Um, this is just the more tech stuff. So obviously I've got my laptop, got uh, stuff, uh, the GoPros, um, electronics, wires. Um, this here is my dry food. So I've got all the deliciousness that a driver needs. Um, I've got, uh, for this morning, penne au chocolat. Uh, they're like muffins, but they're like French. So that means they're the posh. Always a good thing. Um, and the other things that I need water. Um, obviously, you consume quite a lot of water. My dog's here as well. He thinks that we're playing fetch, but we're not. Um, I take 10 litres, and that's what, about what I go through a week. Um, and that includes a little bit of washing up as such, or just dropping some onto uh, pots that I keep. And then we have all the cold food, uh, which I can't show you because that's what the camera's on. Uh, so I've obviously got like, my, my salads this week in there, and milk, and all the goodness. Just finishing the checks off now. Um, there's a couple of things that I've noticed which I'd put on the uh, defects for Friday and they've not been done unfortunately um, first one is the control box as you can see it's been held with a stick um, that's not how it should be uh, that was my quick fix while I was out unfortunately that didn't get fixed and then the other one which didn't get fixed <coughs> is the crack in the window screen which is a bit annoying unfortunately um, so I'm going to have to speak to the uh, the workshop about that this morning see if we can um, oh, see, see what, what can be done about it to be honest We're a good chunk into the morning now. Um, it's time for a quick break. I've been working for a good solid 55 minutes, which you now saying that out loud doesn't sound quite as exciting, but still, I, I think given the, given the hard work and the dedication that I've put in so far, probably I, I, I think I deserve a Greg's. Just having a sit, a bit of a chill. Got myself a Greg's coffee. Um, it's definitely time for a brew, without a question of a doubt.
Ah, Kirkham. It brings back memories. I, um, I did my class two test in Kirkham uh, at the test centre here. I, uh, I failed. Uh, so, if I'm being completely honest, oh, hello, this is where we're going into. The, the memories aren't super. <laughs> Here we are, we found a spot. This is a very posh looking recycling place. Look at the gates and. Oh, but yo. No, the inside doesn't look quite as posh, but. <laughs> the outside does. Come on, nice and wide. It's one of these funny angled bloody. Uh, funny angled way bridges. So just having a quick look at where we're heading next, uh, we're off to Whitchurch, um, so it's kind of south of Liverpool, around about, say, about 60 miles away, um, so it'll probably about, depending on the roads, where it's all going, it, well, it, it says two hours, so I'm thinking it's probably going to be a few little B roads and A roads and stuff like that, so it should be a fun little journey. Well, them guys were super nice. Um, I always appreciate it when people let me, uh, as, as tactfully as I can put it, do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, I asked them, can I do time lapses and put a, attach a camera to the the, uh, the loader? It says, not a problem, do it, that's, that's fine. It says, can I throw my drone in the air? Yes, you're more than welcome to do that. <laughs> So yeah, really appreciate it guys, thank you so much. Um, there is just one tiny favour you could do me, just a, a, in extra to the other ones I've already asked you. There's a, there's a red button, literally just underneath this video, it says the word subscribe on it. If you go ahead and click it, that would be super. We're about 10 minutes away now uh, from Jenkinson site and I think what we're going to do is before we get on the site we have a bit of a break. Um, I think I've got enough time to get in and out of the site without a problem but I'd rather not risk it. If, uh, if I can try and avoid getting an infringement I'm going to, uh, I will try. Um, there was actually on those people who uh, watch my Instagram will have seen there was actually Vosa at, um, at our yard doing uh, I think like speed calibrations and just checking all of them to make sure they're calibrated properly. And I was speaking to one of the guys there it was actually really nice and fair uh, like I, I f it's the first proper chat I've had with someone from Vosa and he, he was really nice and he was basically saying it in the day as long as you're making an effort you are trying it's something that you're you're not, you're not, uh, you're not pushing the limit for your own personal gain. Was how he explained it. Which I'm not. It is, it is some of that. Uh, the, the mistakes I make are genuine. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, got one. Four hundred yards ahead. I think what we'll do is we'll have a stop in here. 
So where are we? Oh, hello. Oh my word. Oh, well, that's spectacular. Right, so I've just pulled in uh, for my, uh, my break. I have just checked with the officers, uh, everyone's okay. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was looking at at first, I couldn't work it out. There is actually a second vehicle, I don't know if the other camera can actually see it, to the right hand side here. Um, but far more interesting than vehicles that have crashed uh, is paperwork. Um, People want the full experience, apparently, uh, and unfortunately, that is that is paperwork as well. <laughs> so, these are the uh, these are the tickets that we fill out. Uh, they're actually Jenkinson's tickets. We most of the work that Dent does actually goes through Jenkinson's, which is so. Even though it's not part of the same company, we actually have the same planners. Um, so my planner, Davey, he actually he works for Jenkies, and sometimes we'll get uh, they'll say, "Oh, this is a dent job," and in which case you'll fill out uh, a dent ticket. But I've only done that maybe once or twice since I've started. Probably once. I think I might be it. <laughs> um, other than that, no, I don't, I don't actually think I have done it. But anyway, it's all good. Um, I'm going to need to fill this out because obviously we have we are loaded. But when I get to the site, um, they're going to want they they'll probably want a copy of this, and I need to fill out one of these. So this is what I've got from the weighing station uh, back at wherever we were. I can't think now. Preston or wasn't really Preston, but Blackpool Road. I remember that part. Um. And the way it works is when you weigh in, when you go in, you get your first weight. Um, now this uh, this one here, this is um, 17.7, so nearly 18 tonnes. That's the weight of the full wagon, um, including obviously the trailer, fuel, me. Um, I must weigh at least half of that, so uh, all of that goes into that. Um, and then you get your your second weighing, and your second weighing. So you can see there it's it's come out at, uh, or you might not be able to see. I don't know. It, if you're on a mobile, you definitely can't see it. Um, it comes out at um, forty tons seven hundred. Um, so it, it is a bit under what um, I can actually carry. I can carry up to forty four. Now the the weight that is actually important to us when I say us I mean Dent as a company is um, the net weight now that's the weight of the actual product that I'm carrying and that's what uh, that's what Dent gets paid for uh, the actual net weight so obviously the more, more you carry the better it is unfortunately I don't have a weighing scale that works in this wagon so whereas some drivers can pip when they're just under the 44 tons I can't so we have to guess it each time apparently it's going to get fixed soon which would be amazing if it does but anyways net weight is coming out at 22.9 tons so it, it's a good amount and um, as uh, as the drivers if we get enough runs done and enough amounts done then we actually get a percentage of the profit which is quite nice um, although because my way is broken I think that's the reason anyways I haven't seen any of that which sucks but I get my fuel bonus each time which is good uh, in fact to be honest with you this morning I'm on 10.5 miles per gallon which is my best one so far so uh, yeah fuel bonus here we come so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this out and then I'm going to give you a quick tour of the wagon. So here we are, my home away from home. Um, you can have a look. See, this this is my driving area. The, the shoes always stay um, down there. I try not to, if I can, I try not to track 
dirt in through this side of the cab although I, I think I do need to get the hoover out tonight and have a quick go over it um, you can see this, the one thing I will say about the Scanys is there's so much storage space um, you've got uh, storage down here you've got more up you've got three sections up here plus what you've already seen in the video behind and oh, so much um, but yeah up here I've got all my um, water, my juice, basically stuff that, the stuff that if I need a juice quickly or drink quickly, I can go and grab it quite readily. Um, I think we'll open this up because I do, I struggle to, <laughs> with, with, the, uh, with my height, I do struggle in here a little bit. In here's my food and um, other. <laughs> um, I've also got my, uh, my cutlery and um, anything to be kind of heating utensils and all, all that uh, all that lovely stuff. Um, in here, there's actually nothing to be honest with you. Um, got some paperwork. That's pretty much it. I was using it to store my kettle, but uh, it kept falling over all the time. I had it leak through a little bit, which so that then gets stored in the, the storage compartment just outside. In here. Gonna open that properly. I've got some clothes um, with my nice Christmas elf there. Um, doesn't look especially tidy. <laughs> if I'd planned ahead, I would have tidied it. That's a, that would have been a better idea, wouldn't it? Um, in here, this is where I keep all my my laptop uh, cables, all my GoPro attachments, um, and as well, most important part, the inverter, because otherwise. Uh, I don't have any uh, mains power as such and then last but not least um, I've got my random cables uh, box plus my drone up there which you've probably seen some of the drone footage that I've done uh, I try and keep where I can I try to keep everything in boxes like these because a lot of this stuff I take home at the weekends obviously um, so for my laptop I want to keep editing throughout the weekends uh, and yeah it's, it's good to be, able to, kind of, be able to kind of just pick it up and go and if it's all stored so you have to unpack it and then repack it it's an absolute pain in the backside so if it's kept in boxes it's nice and neat and uh, yeah just just makes things a lot easier and then if we come down here got some that's my goodie drawer. Um, fairness, I probably shouldn't have that quite as close to the cab, uh, sort of towards my driver's seat. And then on the other side here, here is the fridge. Um, filled. Oh, look at that! A salad. I'll have that later. Um, even though I've already had a Craig's this morning. <laughs> uh, I tried to be healthy, but it just doesn't work. So we're all weighed in. Just gonna try and slip past this lad. Put that nice and wide so we don't cut the corner too much. It's nice and muddy here. And she says all we have to do is wait here for the uh, for the shovel driver to come get us. That might be the man just there. Hello, Hi, sir. Right. Nice and prompt that was. Uh, you come to, a, to the end, turn left here, turn, come to the end of the pad. Yeah. You can turn round at the very top and just park on the corner. I'll show you where I need you. Turn round at the top, park on the corner. Turn around, right. Yeah. They're efficient here.
just gonna watch this guy here because they do like to get bloody close to you on roundabouts. I think they forget about how much room you require. Um, I mean, <laughs> surely you'd look at the size of the vehicle and go, oh yeah, that would need lots of room in that, surely. <laughs> no. <laughs> Taking up more room than a car, how dare you? Um, this is Hereford, which is really pretty. I've never been here before, or maybe I have. I don't know. I've been here before. I don't know. Some of the way looks quite familiar. There was a chocolate factory, like a Cadbury's chocolate factory, and I'm sure I've seen it before. Maybe I've been here. I don't know. It's very pretty though. This, this looks very sawmilly. There's lots of wood, and uh, where there's wood, there's saws and mills. Maybe, I guess that kind of makes sense. Regardless, we're indicating we're going in. Something. Yes, this is the spot. Lovely. This is where I go in. Oh, this looks not right. All drivers, do not reverse into the main roads. Do not use the main road to turn around. <coughs> Bloody hell! All drivers, report to the Waybridge. And do not smoke, which is not a big problem. Aha! I see it. One time is Waybridge ahead. So this one looks like a waiting one, unfortunately. So we'll just see what uh, we'll just see what the wait's like. Two hours later. Oh my word! Twenty minutes later. Oh my word. So, hasn't been raining barely at all while I've been here for the past two hours. Second I need to go outside, absolutely heaves it down. Um, plan is now, not going to bother going to, or not even going to try and get to Kronos Ban. Um, going to get, going to drive for maybe about 40 minutes, 15 minutes, and then find somewhere to bunk down, some a nice lay-by somewhere. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. It is genuinely appreciated. The love and support from everyone has been awesome. Uh, genuinely awesome. I, I, I'm stunned at the level of positivity that's come out of this. It's, it's been, yeah, just awesome. Uh, a few shout outs. Firstly to my missus. Thank you so much. I'd love you to pieces. Uh, I know you have to watch all these videos uh, to check them and I, I'm sorry, I know you don't like wagons, but I appreciate it. <laughs> and speaking of people who are reluctantly doing things for me as well, <laughs> my kids, um, Ollie and Freddie, I love you to pieces. I'm so sorry that you have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to uh, not like, take me to work. Um, no one should have to do that, but you do. And you don't complain about it as much as you used to. So, 
that's really nice of you. I appreciate that. Luke, um, not Luke C, but my mate Luke, uh, he's been wanting a shout out for ages and I keep saying I will do, so I am, I am going to today. Um, Luke, you are a colossal dickhead. Um, so I really appreciate uh, that you've been wanting that for a while. And I, I, that came from the heart. It came from here, genuinely. Uh, Truck Photos UK, thank you very much for the idea of today's video. Um, if you want to go and check out all of his stuff on Instagram, I'm going to put a link in the description down below. And one of the friend of the channel as well, Will, it's a high ab life. I'm going to put a link to his channel and a couple of his videos below or probably his channel in fairness but go and check out his videos um, if you liked my old stuff uh, using the Hayab and stuff like that you'll probably like uh, Will's channel um, so yeah but aside from that thank you very much and um, oh subscribe clicky clicky click, click, that, that thing the red thing like below if you haven't already if you have don't click that button because it'll unsubscribe you and that's not what I want I need subscribers not unsubscribers or whatever thank you goodbye